Today we're going to look at how to design something cool for your Christmas dinner tickets or invitations. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. Alright, so I've got you covered for this Christmas section and I'm going to share with you how to design um, some cool styles for your Christmas tickets or invitations. This is going to be very simple and very brief, trust me. Okay, so I'm going to make use of the DL, that is the envelope size. I don't know the type of a size that you're going to use for this particular project, but trust me, the process is the same. Okay, so I click OK after setting all my sizes and then I go to image and rotation to rotate this and this is the size that we are going to pull everything on. Basically, we are going to need some couple of things and I've got you covered for that. Check in the description if you want to download this same set of things that I'm using for this design. So basically, I'm going to need about three things over here. And this is the first thing that I'm dropping inside my Photoshop. So after here, I'm trying to position it this very neatly over here. You drag it somewhere around here. We don't want it all that close. These are the things that we are looking for because it's dinner, right? Okay, so next I'm going to draw a rectangle around here. Like you make it big because we are going to press Ctrl T afterwards to transform it like this. And then you can drag it from the edges. Remember, shapes do not require any special alt and then shift or stuff like that. So you try to position it over here. Let me try to bring it over here. And then you are done so you double click here to change the color and that is what you have so next i'm going back to bringing this particular um, background it looks very nice you can you can use it for so many things but then i want to use it as the main or as as a background to the rectangle that we just created so i'm going to right click and then create a clip masking over here basically it is inside of the rectangle that we created now so what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the opacity to about 30 percent or so done so next let's go and import the christmas flower png that i got over here and then i'm going to select my rectangular market tool to cut off this area let's say you copy it and then i'll send it over to my rectangle again say here so basically it just creates a clip masking also for this one because this one has already been created the clip mask has already been created so you press ctrl t to resize it and this is what we have it so basically this is looking very christmas like okay so next we're going to pick the test tool and we start to type something awesome over here say christmas so let's change the font over here to a vertical insert right one of my favorites if you if you've been around for quite a couple of time so we try to press ctrl t to resize this to make it a little bit bigger and then i'm going to change the font color so you double click on the t over here and then you can change the color from this portion so i'm going to make it a little bit um blue like that and then you click ok when you are done next i'll right click and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add or drop a shadow to this one that is what i'm having and then an outer glow so basically i'm trying to increase the size of the outer glow a little bit and then when i'm done i click ok so i'm trying to design this to fit like a christmas status or christian status something like that so next I'll select the test tool again and try to write another test. Say the theme or anything that you want to write, and that is. But basically, I'm going for a Bible quotation. Okay, so I try to use Acrobat over here, another one of my favorites, and then I'm going for semi bold. And then the font color, I'm going to choose um, a little bit of wine, like that so okay let me come down here and i click ok when i'm done so i press ctrl t to resize this let's say here let me zoom in so that you can see what i'm doing very clearly 
so um, I made a mistake here let me clear one of the H and that is it so I try to position it over here next I'm going to type another test that is the date venue and then the time so I'll basically start off with the date like date here and then I'm going for let's say 25th December this is basically for nobody so don't worry just get grasp the concept and that is it so I'll change the main heading to extra bold so that you differentiate from the actual one and then I'll try to decrease the size or make it a little bit bigger like that so like here and then I position it over there so I'll press ctrl J to make a duplicate drag it over here and then I'm going to change this to venue so now it, it looks as if these are very big so I'll select the three of them and try to decrease it to fit here very well so I've got it over here let me try to open it up a little bit more because I have more space there so that is what I'm having so right beneath it or on top of this here I'm going to select the rectangle and draw a rectangle over here probably I'm going for black right so you see it is over flipping this one like here it is over flipping this one so um, I'm just going to decrease the opacity to about um, 30 percent I think 30 is too much let's go a little bit down so that it will differentiate it from the background and then we're going to clip mask it that is great clip masking into this particular rectangle I hope you remember that so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle over here and then we're going to differentiate these things like that so I'm going to still choose a color that I use for this and then I try to position it in the middle of like in between them so I'll make a duplicate and drag that one also over here and whilst I'm dragging I'm holding shift that is why it is moving so smooth like that so I position it so I have basically like I've differentiated between each of them now next thing is um, I'm trying to add like a contact or something like that if somebody is to look for location or instructions so we're going to add something like and then we're going to change the color to black like that and then probably we go for um, regular okay so we decrease the font size or we decrease we transform it to something small like that and then we have our rectangles over here we have our date and time venue everything is set and then this rectangle over here so we can basically bring it down like that and then let me open this up a little more so that is it if you really want to add anything to this one you can just add it to it and then you make assuming you are doing this for an organization you can put the name here or anywhere around this place so that is it that is how to design like a ticket or an invitation for your christmas dinner lunch thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll get back to you with another one it's innocent here bye